Hey guys, Noah back with another video, and today we've got quite an exciting one. So, uh, this is my old unicycle. This is an Airwheel X3. Um, I've done some modifications. I took off the fender, um, ripped off the fender, and I painted it with a truck bed liner so that it was more durable. This is basically my starter 14 inch wheel. Then, up next, brought in the in motion V8. Now, this is very exciting. It just came in just like 20 minutes ago, and I need to get a box moving on charge. It started here, and I'm going to start by that. Uh, so I'm just going to box This is basically the next step up to my next recycle. So this one can go to the other one. The other one goes about 18 kilometers an hour. This one goes about 30. So it's a big step up for me, and it goes about 50 kilometers on single charge, which is a big deal. So. Let's 
see if it's got any juice. That is magical. It's absolutely magical. Now you can see here that there is a nice LED bar to show you the power reading. Um, and there's all these beautiful LEDs on the side. I believe you can customize those with the app, which is really nice. Yeah, and that startup noise, I love that as well. So let's uh, let's get it on charge. So when you're plugging it in or putting it on charge, you will want to note the end it's in the charging ports on the back end of it. Um, it's going to be exactly water proof, so it's not going to be too rough on that. It's going to get rid of the seal. But we can just spin it around like so. A little bit better than uh, than I can hear myself because uh, I've got it's, it's minus 39 the wind chill out here uh, so I'm hoping to bring in a mic sometime soon because uh, I could sneak it under my clothing but it's quite cold out here so just gonna make this quick but uh, I'm in a parking garage as you can see it's one of the only ones that I could find that was open and I've got with me my new in motion V8 so uh, my new, I guess my new InMotion SCB V8. Uh, I went over most of the things earlier on it, most of the features. One, one thing I really find handy is the really nice bright headlight. Uh, I use that quite often. The only thing is I tried to turn it on during a ride and I fell off of it because it turned it off because it uses the same button as the on-off switch. That can be a little sketchy, but I do appreciate the battery readout, that's really nice. Um, the pedals are really nice and large. And I'll do another video on uh, snow use because uh, we're in the we're in the we're in the parking garage, but there's ice and snow outside. Uh, outside of the parking garage, so we'll do another one on that, but I keep slipping constantly on the ice. So uh, yeah. I have used the handle a lot more than I thought I was going to uh, uh, originally, but uh, yeah, I guess I guess the main things that I find are the pedals are a little bit a little bit bigger, not too much bigger than my other one, but they're a lot grippier. So uh, yeah, I do find that a difference. Um, the lights get covered up. Like I don't like to I don't like to have the the cover off in the winter time or even in the summertime because it's so easily scraped up. But uh, yeah, in the I guess I guess the lights only matter for night rides. I really like them, but it's it's kind of dangerous in my opinion. Spend a thousand bucks, and then uh, I'd rather cover it up. So we're gonna take this out and show you what it can do. 